Daily Sales and Cash Drawer Report The Daily Sales and Cash Drawer Report is a reconciliation tool used to verify the payments in your cash drawer on an item-by-item -item basis, the goal being to make sure you have on hand what the computer says you have in cash, checks, and credit card payments. It also provides a summary of your daily sales for a selected time period. Let's take a look. From the toolbar, click the daily sales icon and select a cash drawer. Most shops only have one cash drawer, but if you had more than one, you would click the down arrow and choose from the drop list. Enter the start date for the report or click the select button to choose from the calendar, as well as the end date. Note that if you run this report daily, these dates will already be entered correctly for the current day. Click OK and the daily sales report will open on the sales summary screen. Note the date range will appear up here. The report includes paid repair orders and parts invoices, the sales and returns for each, grouped by parts, labor, supply charge, any discounts, sales tax, and any other fees you collect, and a grand total with your repair order count for the day. To reselect the date range, just click the Change Drawer End Date button to open the Select Cash Drawer and Ending Date window to reselect your cash drawer or dates. Now let's balance our cash drawer. Click the Balance Drawer link on the left, and here is where we count our actual payments received and enter the amounts, one category at a time. The system figures a computed cash amount by adding and subtracting cash received or cash paid out from the beginning cash in drawer dollar amount. If you do this report every day, you shouldn't need to change this beginning cash in drawer amount. However, if you run this report for another date range, you may need to re-enter that amount manually to get back on track again. First, I typically count my cash on hand, the actual bills and coins, and enter my total cash amount in this counted cash box. You can click the Details button to open the Cash Drawer Items window to view any cash transactions including date, transaction type, a payout, and here's an invoice paid by cash. For invoices, we can click the View RO or Part Invoice button with the payment line highlighted to view the repair order associated with that cash payment. So let's close this. Now your counted cash amount should match the computed cash amount. Notice the cash amount appears under the counted amounts, but see, we're off by 20 bucks. So we would find out where the missing amount went Maybe someone grabbed a 20 to put gas in a vehicle they needed to test drive. So once we retrieve that receipt, we would click on the money bag down here and enter that cash paid out. So we select cash paid out, enter who it was paid to, Union 76, I'll skip the invoice, what the payment was for, and the amount. And here we disperse where that payment should be tracked on our general ledger. We're going to select Fuel for Customer Vehicle. Now make sure the date is correct and click Finish. And here we can see our counted cash is 662.13, same as the computed amount. Next, we count the checks. Click the Details button with the checks line highlighted or just double click on the checks line itself to open the list. Check them off in the cleared column and then click OK. And here the counted checks amount is entered on the right. Same goes for American Express and MasterCard and Visa. And of course we don't have any payments to count for the AR charges as they are charges put on account and any credits used would also appear here as well. Now a couple of things might happen. Either you have a credit card listed on the screen that you don't have the credit card slip for, or you might have a check in your hand for an RO that's not listed in the cash drawer report. Now that check is probably for an RO that is still on the service counter and needs to be paid through. If the RO is in the complete status, we could click on the cash drawer money bag and post the RO from here, but let's say it's still marked as work in progress. Things get busy. We might have just printed the RO for the customer to review, 
the customer writes us a check, leaves, and then we forget to post the payment. We would need to exit the report, mark that RO as paid, and post their check as a payment, and then the check would show up here. And last, we enter the amount of cash to be deposited under cash drop. We're only going to deposit $362.13, so we can leave $300 on hand for tomorrow. See here? Now this cash left in drawer for tomorrow amount will be our beginning cash in drawer amount on tomorrow's report. Under reports, we can preview print reports before closing this daily sales report, or we can simply just close and print all at once. And if needed, we could always cancel at this point to go back and change something, but we'll just close and print this reconciliation report. Now since this report does not affect the accounting of the system in any way, you can always go back and rerun the report if needed. Say if you voided a transaction and reposted it correctly and wanted to reprint that daily sales report with that correction, you can go back and do that at any time. So again, anything you enter in the daily sales and cash drawer report never makes changes to the general ledger. Now you don't necessarily need to process the daily sales and cash drawer report every day for the current date. You can go back and do previous days reconciliations, but I do recommend reconciling this report one day at a time for each day and printing the reports for future reference. And if you run multiple cash drawers, this is a handy tool to keep track of payments received by each cashier. This concludes the lesson on the daily sales and cash drawer report.